Well, let's see what Barry's doing here, and in the same vein, check out what's inside that parcel, because I'll be honest, I don't even remember what's in there. Hey, you can't expect me to remember every single solitary detail about the game. Okay, so now, yeah, I got something for you, alright? Please tell me what it is, because as I said, I don't remember. Oh, SCORE! It's a town map! Oh, well, there are two... So, okay, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna get a town map, well thank you very much, Barry, but I don't have much use for a town map because I know Sinnoh like the back of my hand, and on top of that, there are two Poké Chats that have that town map on there to begin with, and it's convenient because it's displayed on the bottom of the, on the bottom screen, not on the bottom of the screen, I apologize. The greatest trainer of all time will keep telling yourself that the way you're gonna get annihilated by Jupiter pretty much means you're doomed. You're not gonna become the best of all time. And we're gonna check out here the blackboard. It's the same freaking blackboard in every generation. And the effects of poison remain after battle and the poison Pokemon's HP will drop while it's traveling. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I think they actually removed that in Generation 5, so you don't have to rush back to a Pokémon Center whenever you are poisoned, which is good. But then again, as I said, I'm not 100% sure, and don't flood the comment box either. I don't want a thousand people telling me it's true or it's not. Okay, so it's nothing we don't know already. Well, except that they completely forgot the fact that when you get burned, your attack is cut in half, which is perhaps an even better application for burn than the damage, because usually if you want damage, you're going to use toxic or toxic spikes or things like that. But still, burn is a pretty effective uh, status ailment, no matter who's on the receiving end of it. Of course, unless it's got flash fire, then it's not going to work. As for freeze and sleep, they're very similar, except that there's no move that's dedicated to you, to freezing a Pokemon and nothing else. Even in Generation 5, there's nothing like that. Not even Frozen World, unlike what the name implies. And as I said in previous LPs, freeze is worse than sleep because it tends to last uh, shorter on average because... When it comes to freeze, there's a chance of thawing out at every turn, whereas the amount of, of turns where, when you're asleep is decided when you do fall asleep. That's the major difference between the two, and that's where sleep really wins. On top of having really dedicated move like sleep, uh, sleep powder or... Um, what? X-Attack? So early in the game? Wow, well, is it going to come in handy? Quick Attack? Floor damage. Nope, not at all. Complete waste of an X attack. Anyway, just to correct myself on something that I said in the last video, the Encourage boost isn't 50%, but 30%. It was uh, changed after further testing because, well, of course, it's a lot more balanced that way because 50% really sounded abusive on stuff like Hihidaruma or even, say, Randorosu. And while I'm busy setting the record straight on a variety of things, back when I was doing 10-minute videos, I had zillions of people asking me why I wasn't doing 15-minute videos. And now that I'm doing 15-minute videos, I've got people asking me why I don't do 10-minute videos. Well, the answer to that, just to answer that question once and for all, is simply because my computer is so much stronger than the old one that it allows for 15-minute videos without the sound falling behind. And you've also been a lot to tell me that the reward in Platinum for this thing at the school is no longer the Hidden Power TM, but rather a piddly potion. And my reaction to that can be summed up in one word. GO NAD! And, okay, so... You may not know what I'm talking about here, but it's a reference to the Escapist review of the Alone in the Dark game, where, uh, to explain how, ba how badly the game sucks, they used the, the, the concept of two game designers called Terry and Gonad. Terry's the one with good ideas, and Gonad is the one that tries to fuck up the game as much as humanly possible. So, from now on, whenever I refer to Gonad, because it's quite an interesting concept, because it really could relate to a lot of games out there. So when I talk about Gonad, it's simply that game designer who's always trying to screw up everything.
Woohoo, I'm trying to shove another running joke down your throats. Wonderful. And so I got the potion. Which, well, to be honest, I would have no use for uh, for a hidden power TM in this playthrough, but a potion? Really? Why not a super potion? I mean, at least that would help against Barry's Chimchar, because I'm expecting Barry's Chimchar to do damage to my Turtwig on the scale of, like, maybe 15, 20 per hit, so wouldn't really accomplish much if I kept spamming potions. So, okay, this building here is the GTS, but unfortunately I need to get the first badge in order to be able to enter here. There's another building in Jubilee that you need one badge, one badge, sorry, to enter, which is the the Jubilee TV station. And, oh, got this guy here. Who is he? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I think this guy wants to give me a Poketch, which is um, a device that uh, exploits the touchscreen. And the Poketch is, uh, as the name implies, a Pokemon Wash. There are 25 apps for it in total. There are two of them that are only available via events that were never distributed, so that, that leaves 23 other ones. You start off with 5 and you collect the other 18 throughout the game. So now, as he said, I'm going to have to find three clowns scattered throughout Jubilife, and oh, here's the first one. I just went back to the southern area of town just in case uh, one of them would be there, but I guess the others are not, which means they're probably in the northernmost area of Jubilife. So, does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and... Oh, this is the easiest question ever! How about something challenging for once? But... I guess there's no use complaining because Pokemon's target audience has ages in the single digits, so whatever. I guess since I'm st I'm 26 and I'm still playing this game, that means there is something for everyone in there, which is the mark of an excellent game. So I got my first coupon. First, I'm going to check out what's in the Pokemon. There are a few NPCs as usual. And by the way, I was talking about those 18 Poké chaps you gotta collect throughout the game. I'm not going to get them all, surprisingly, because there's one of them that requires you getting a Snorlax. And I don't know if everyone among you played this game, but finding a Munchlax in this game is painful. It's random, it's expensive, it's time-consuming, it's just plain annoying. So, and on top of that, it evolves by happiness. So, Snorlax is probably one of the hardest Pokemon to find in the game without breeding or trading or whatever. Pokeball, Potion, Antidote, la la la. Standard fare for so early in the game. Air, Mail, and Heal Ball. Heal Ball is a huge ripoff because it's $100 more expensive than a regular ball and it. Well, it heals your Pokémon to full once it's caught, but if it's sent to the PC afterwards, then it's healed to full anyway, so it's utterly pointless. Its only use is if your party's not full, and even so, nothing's stopping you from backtracking to a Pokémon Center. So, it's, as I said, a complete rip-off. Huh? Joining a group? What is this? I honestly don't remember what it's about. Oh, wait, isn't this a wireless thing? Okay, Union Room. Yeah, that's right. It's for local wireless stuff. Mix your records with group members and you'll become integrated. To be honest, I never really bothered doing that because the only person that I know personally that even plays Pokemon is my brother. And he cares about those kind of things like mi mixing records about as much as I do, which is... Zero plus zero equals zero. So, moving it right along. Oh yeah, this is the Jubilife TV building. The entrance is blocked off by a clown. And, okay, let's see which question it is. Can a Pokemon hold an item? This is even easier than the first one! Okay, may hold a single item. Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten as necessary during battle. There are other, there are also other items that are consumed during battles, such as, for example, the Focus Sash, the jewels that were added to the game in Generation 5. So now I got two coupons. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say the third one is over there. Yep, there we go. So hopefully his question is going to be a little bit harder than the other two, though. I'm not expecting... <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up, to be, to be perfectly honest. 
Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types. Duh! And okay, now he's going to give us a very basic explanation of stab, which, by the way, by the way, stab is a fan-made term, so it's never been used as such in the game. So now that I have all my three coupons, I'm gonna head back to see the president of the company, who promised me a Poketch if I got all three coupons. And quite frankly, I'm getting sick of looking at that little Pokeball thing uh, on the bottom screen. Oh, you need the Poketch to count to three? How did you become? The president of a company, you can't count to three! Jesus Christ, well at least I get a decent prize for that. And there we go, isn't that a lot better? So as I said, we are we start off with, uh, no, I think it was four apps, not five. So, let's see now. Come on, we have the watch, we have a calculator, we also have a pedometer, we have the Pokemon list, is there anything else? No. We're heading back to the clock, so I'm gonna go with the Pokemon list since it's my favorite. So, yes, I messed up. Again, I seem to do that a lot these days. But if you already commented saying, Duh, you get only four apps at the beginning, not five! I swear, I swear that I will hunt you down and I will strangle the life out of you. Because, you know, it's common courtesy to watch the entire video before commenting on it just in case something like that happens. So, okay, so... Oh, a Quick Claw! Oh, that is wonderful! That's a great item for my Turtwig, since, well, as everyone knows, Turtwig is slow. Very, very slow. It's not until it evolves into Torterra that it starts to become a little bit faster, but even Torterra still has just 56 base speed, so that's not a lot, so the Quick Claw is really, really welcome on that thing. By the way, the Quick Claw gives the Pokémon a 20% chance to go first, and in Generation 4 they added an irritating animation to tell you that yes, the Quick Claw did kick in. And it, the animation is triggered, even if you're faster to begin with, so... Yeah, Generation 4, one of its major flaws was that it did everything to make battles drag on a lot more than they needed to, which was largely fixed thanks to a few conveniences in black and white. Now there's just one last building to visit and what we can explore of Jubilife right now. And yeah, this is the Poketch Company's building, I believe. Yeah, uh, this, this guy here tell, is telling us that there are more apps in development. And, um, yeah, you can come back here after you get a few badges and you're gonna get, uh, new apps. I, I think you get one for beating one gym, another one for beating three, another one for beating five, and another, another one for beating seven. Though, don't quote me on that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, and I don't really want to be corrected since I can just go look it up on Cerebi at any time. Okay, personally, I don't need anything to compel me to use my Poketch more, because... Oh, what? Uh, I'm gonna come back to that a bit later, because apparently she wants an interview. May I ask you which Poketch app you use the most? Well, of course it's gonna be the Pokemon list, because I just got it, uh, like, a few minutes ago, and it's been on almost all this time, so no, I'm just going... I'm just going to skip this part, because... Yeah, it's just one word. You can't do funny things with just one word. Anyway, what I was about to say is that um, a lot of people really like the ability in Hard Gold and Soul Silver to use the menu on the touch screen. Personally, I prefer the Poketch because I really don't mind using the X button and the D pad to navigate through the menus. Whereas the Poketch has a ton of really in interesting applications. Well, of course, not every app is useful, but there are still those occasions where I would like to see something else on my screen than the menus, such as, for example, the Pokémon list. But I think we can all agree that both the Poketch and the menus are a better use of the bottom screen than the C-Gear. I've seen a lot of hate for the C-Gear. So I'm going to stop this here for now, and in the next video, I'm going to head to Route 204 and do some extra training before the big fight.